hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am here with a new game that is awesome looking. I was offered a key to this, but this isn't something that's available on Steam yet. Uh, this is, I'm not even sure if this game is out yet, to be honest. Um, apparently you have to go to these links to find out more about them. If there is more, like a link that I can send, I will definitely put it in the description below uh, but this is this is pretty cool stuff here it's yeah right now I am just able to access but this is basically living the life of a dinosaur and it is cooperative not only just single player but cooperative so you can play in there with your buddies you can play a t-rex and they can play or whatever you know uh, another dinosaur but let's see here guys I like I said I don't know much about it I downloaded it looked interesting looks like they just added a couple of new things let's see allosaurus and so the growth of an allosaurus oh my god so you can be an allosaurus a sarcosuchus oh my god sarcosuchus by the way is the what they used to call the super croc Super croc. Sarcosuchus is a super crocodile that existed around the time of the dinosaurs. Only it was like some astronomical length, like 60 feet or something. I mean, it's crazy stuff. Um, well, let's just jump in and check it out. I mean, you know, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> okay, looks like we got different game modes, different maps, so we only have one map to start with because this is fairly new. There's adventure, map, settings, okay we're gonna, we don't need to do all this because I don't think anybody's really going to try to jump in and play with me. Let's go ahead and host that. I guess you have to host a game even if you're doing single player. But I went ahead, let me go ahead, I did create one before just to get a, a feel of how you you mess with this. But we're going to go ahead and delete this guy. We'll create a new one. Alright, looks like we've got a number of species available here, guys. we got Sarcosuchus, or no, not Sarcosuchus, that's... We have Sucomimus, that's one I'm not familiar with. Okay, which is kind of unusual because I thought I was familiar with most dinosaurs. Um, not sure what this is. Oh, these, this must be skin colors. No, it's got special abilities, apparently. There's Spinosaurus, we know that one from the movie, uh, Dress Park 3, except this one's a lot more up to date in its look. It looks more crocodile like, like it's supposed to. Uh, less like a T Rex in body, more like a crocodile in body. This was a fish eater. Let's see here. We're, there's Sarcosuchus. See what I mean? That is a crocodile. Big old fella. And this is Metria Canthor Metria Obviously a meat eater. Not sure I'm familiar with that one either. That's a fairly new one. He's got a little rather narrow head, but I guess that's so that he can get forward vision being a predator. I like that little addition under his chin. Looks a lot like my iguana Iggy. Wow, the effects of this. Look at the graphics. <laughs> it's so amazing. I don't even know which one to choose here. Oh, here we go. This is kind of a Velociraptor-ish type. Late, God, these are new. All these are new. Lake Nevenatrix. Lake Nevenatrix. This is a Dromosaurid, obviously, because it has the feathers. Velociraptor fits in this family. This is Dionychus. See, they look very bird-like. That's not a beak, though. He's got a mouthful of teeth. And they were called the 
wicked claw, there's a reason for that. Right there, the, his feet, as you can see. That was used to gut things. Let's see what's the next one. We've got... Oh, look, he's got little horns, kind of like a... Uh, Ceratosaurus. Let's see, Despletosaurus. And these are some new ones. I've never seen these before. Concave nap, concave nader. Wow. Here's a ceratosaurus. Awesome. See his horns. Yeah, I love these guys. Yeah, that would be a cool one to play, guys. Ceratosaurus. There's the old allosaurus. I'm probably gonna still do an allosaurus. Allosaurus is just. I mean, he's been around a long... well, I mean, obviously he's around a long time, but he's been in my life a long time. I've Right along with T-Rex. He was the Jurassic Predator, and T-Rex was the Cretaceous Predator, excuse me. And this is an Aleo Ramus. Wow. Another Dromaeosaur. And I guess we're back to the beginning. So these are the species we've got. And they're meat eaters. So we've got plant eaters too. Styracosaurus. I remember this one from way back. He, heck, that was in the show Dinosaurs. He was the, the boss. <laughs> the boss dinosaur that was telling the other ones what to do. Struthiomimus. This was the ostrich mimic. As you can see why. Looks a lot like an ostrich. Stegosaurus with his thagomizer at the end. Long story about that. <laughs> thagomizer. Those are cool dinosaur guys. I think Labiosaurus. This is a duck billed dinosaur or hadrosaur. Sikentrosaurus, yes, they're, I think they're in the Stegosaurus family, but those shoulder spikes are pretty awesome. I wouldn't want to mess with him. Hmm. Iguanodon, probably the oldest classified dinosaur ever. Actually, I think it is the oldest classified dinosaur ever. Of course, they didn't think it looked like that, and they actually thought that spike that it has on its front leg was a horn, and they put it mistakenly on its snout when they tried to draw it. There he is. Nope, that's not. I thought that was a Triceratops. It's a different one. Eel Triceratops. Eel Triceratops? I guess he's not quite as big. See Dinocurus or something. Looks like a big old chicken <laughs> with claws. Camptosaurus, that's one I've never heard of. There's a lot of them here I've never heard of. There's so many new species now, guys. And Donatosaurus, this must be a relative of the uh, I can't why I say Allosaurus. Oh, I can't even think of his name. I don't believe that. <laughs> Look at the animations. He's stretching his legs. That is so cool. Now, this is another new horned dinosaur I've never seen. Albertosaurus. Oh, no, wait. Albertoceratops. Albertoceratops. Probably named after Alberta, Canada. That's probably where it was located. A lot of them are named after the regions they're found. And many of them are found up in Canada. This is not playable, but coming soon. Let's see, it looks a lot like Iguanodon, doesn't it? Let's see, Barboldia. Barboldia? It's a big one. And we're back to Styracosaurus. Awesome, guys. This is so far. All we're doing is looking at characters. That's all we've done so far. Well, we're going to go back. 
to Big Al. We're going to create Big Al here, guys. Of course, Big Al is not going to start off big. Now, we are going to go with a male. I don't think the females are any big. Well, they're lighter in color. So the male's going to have more coloration like birds do. And there's different patterns you can select. You can select all kinds of color patterns. Let's see, looks like the eye can be a different color. That's cool. Give him blue eyes. So it's different combinations of colors. That's pretty neat. Yeah, let's go with a, a color palette that's a little bit more bright. There we go. I like that. So they got, a, I mean, there's a lot of flexibility here. I think this is just randomizes it so that you can get whatever you get. But we're going to go ahead and create Big Al. And, oh, he's so cute. He starts off as a little bitty fella. Look at him. He's just a little bitty guy. Oh. And we're going to go ahead and enter the world. Now, there's apparently a spectator mode, which you can just kind of let the AI do its thing. Okay. Looks like we can move our dinosaur. Use your input controls to move your dinosaur. Either sprint or jump to drain your stamina slightly to continue. So shift to sprint, space to jump. Oh, I love these graphics. My god. He just hatched. This is his birthday. Oh, or his hatch day. He doesn't have a birth. He has a hatch day. <laughs> Looks like he's, uh, mother left some previous victims. Okay, so we're going to... We're going to sprint. Quest complete. Move your dinosaur. Use the rest key to rest. Rest increases your regeneration. So, rest. Precise movement is a great way to turn in a small radius or make slight adjustments to your position. Try using the precise movement button to continue. It was X. I'm sorry about that, guys. I had to step away for a moment, and I lost, completely forgot what I was supposed to do. So eat some food to replenish your hunger. Low food can cause your dinosaur to die. Well, of course. Use the interact button on the marked food to eat it. So, eat some food. So, they're pointing it out right there, so it's not like... You can jump go back and jump. Eee. That's disgusting. Okay, we're going to go ahead and eat. He's a starving little guy. Looks like he's thirsty. You see his little stomach thing on the left is filling up. Drink. Drink some water to replenish your thirst. Low water can cause your dinosaur to die. Use the interact button on the mark to pull the drink from it. I'm going to let him fill his belly first. Might as well get completely filled up. Okay. And we're going to run our little lizard butt over here. Actually, they weren't really lizards. Let's see here. And then we'll drink. He just dunks his old head. <laughs> kind of like my uh, puppy does. <laughs> yeah, my dachshund, Mario Dachshund, gets more on his face than he does in his stomach. 
Let's see, communicating in game. Communicating in game can be done multiple ways through chat or via local calls. Vocal calls can be used to send a group invitation. Try sending a vocal call via the vocal call button to continue. Well, we don't have anybody doing this, but we'll just do what they tell us to do for now. He's got this thirstiness. Got this thirstiness? <laughs> He's not thirsty no more. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Well, let's do a vocal call here. Oh, cool. So, what's this do? Oh, he makes little sounds. Talking a chance, the best way to communicate, communicate with others in the world. Press the chat button to open the chat window and send a chat message to continue. Hmm. So, enter opens chat. Alright, and then... Hi, I am big. Ow. Press the interact key to pick up an item and deliver it to the mark. Many quests you will encounter will be delivery quests like this one. Okay. So we got a manita. So some kind of a mushroom I take. And then we gotta take it to over here somewhere. I think. Oh no, over here. So we have to go all the way back. I mean, I love the way they've handled this. Unlocking skins is a good way to show off your achievements or stand out in the world. You can buy and use skins in the skin menu, accessible via the character tab. Okay, let's get out of here where we can see Al a little better. Tab button. Let's see. View the skins menu. Character. Equipping abilities. Abilities are a way to make a more powerful dinosaur. Abilities can be bought and equipped in the ability menu. Go to the ability menu via the character menu and change the ability in the action bar. Okay. So abilities. So we're just at just about ready to go into being a juvenile and let's see we've got something we can do with the head type head so we can confirm well I thought this would I did do that Oh, I see. There it goes. Okay, we had to put it here. Okay. I was not sure what I was supposed to do there. Joining a group. Joining a group is a great way to treat your survival and make new friends. Group requests can be sent via the social menu. Open the social menu via the social tab to continue. Okay, joining a group. Go to the social menu. You're not in a party, follow the party by inviting somebody. Okay, we'll invite. All 
Alright, tutorial is finished. Walk through the marked tunnel to begin your journey of survival. You may not return to this tutorial area. You will be hunted by other players and therefore must be wary. Grow larger by completing quests and earn marks to unlock new abilities. Good luck out there. Oh, wow. That could get scary, especially when other people are trying to eat you. <laughs> Yeah, let's get rid of that because we want to be able to see what we're doing. Come on, big owl. Let's jump into the real world here. Exit tutorial. Yes, I'm ready to enter. Yeah, big owl is on his way. I tell you, it's some cool stuff, guys. This is an amazing looking game. Now, since this is a really new game, I don't think there's going to be, and since I'm a single player, I don't think I have to worry about other people. Now, you know, uh, non-player, I was going to say non-player characters, but there probably isn't non-player characters. There's probably non-player dinosaurs and other things. Let's see what's over here, guys, because it looks like it's trying to lead me over here. Clear branches. Clear what branches? Okay. Am I supposed to pick a branch up? Oh. Gotta follow the red dot. Duh. So I'm still just a little bitty guy. Little bitty guy. Whoa. Okay. That's not cool. Don't want to kill the guy by dropping him off a cliff. And we also don't know if he can. <clears throat> we also don't know if he can swim, so that's probably not a good idea. And I want to try this quick directional thing. Okay, I see what that does. Whatever this is, this is a ways over here. It says, do I have to go there to pick up the branch or do I have to take the branch there? Well, I haven't seen anything saying that I could pick something up yet. There's been plenty of branches along here, so. Oh, what's this? Yarrow, pick up? Huh, okay. Well, at least I know that whenever something I can pick up will highlight. See, that didn't highlight, so. Whew, getting tired here, guys. Little guys getting tired. He's just going to sit here for a second, rest and get his little stamina up. See the little bar going up? <laughs> He's a cute little guy, isn't he? <laughs> oh, I tell you, I love anything little. Any little animal is so cute. All right, we're getting up. Ooh, there's so little. Okay, going uphill is a little more strenuous than some of it. Oh, it's getting get to be night. Big Al's gonna be out. Oh, this is gonna be hard. He's got to get up and over somehow. Okay, might be able to do it here. Ugh, ugh. Come on, Al. Come on, you can do it. I have faith in you. Yeah, he's getting tired. He's getting really tired. Uh 
heck? Ah. So here's a branch that we can pick up. And for some reason or another, we gotta take it over here. I don't know why, but. Just following the instructions. Oh boy, how do I get to that? Whoa, ow! Ow, ow, ow! Poor little Al, he fell. <laughs> yeah, that hurt. That hurt. Yeah, there was a cave, apparently, to get to this place. Looks like I gotta get another quest completed. Hopefully I can do it without hurting myself more. Not doing too good here, guys. I'm <laughs> beating a snot out of a little fella. Oh, that we could use. And it looks like it's helping my health, too, so that's a good thing. Something about find location dark falls. Okay, we found the way out of the cave. And he's slowly healing. Okay, so it's this way. I have not seen any other dinosaurs, so I'm thinking that I'm probably not going to run into any. So short of falling again, whoa, yeah these guys couldn't take a, even a short fall, they were just so top heavy and they were so dependent on their hind legs since the front legs didn't do a whole lot. Acorns, gather acorns. Okay, we'll gather acorns then. Q collect. Looks like that's all the acorns there were, huh? Okay. And we'll find more. Gosh, he really is little. Yeah, this helps him to grow, apparently. Another cave system. No shortage of acorns, I'll tell you that. Not sure what I'm supposed to do with them, except to collect them.
Okay, I think there's some more over here. At least a few more. Nope, a bunch more. Clear branches. point. No way to just drop it in. <laughs> I did it before. Let's see. Okay, here it is. It's delivery point. All right. Gather flowers. seen any flowers. And there's nothing marking them, so I'm gonna have to find them on my own. Oh no ow oh damn ow ooh ow 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 poor Al I'm so mean to you Al I swear to god I really didn't mean to do that I was getting a little too getting too excited about the game and just running through here and I end up really hurting you guy. He's got like a broken bones and stuff. He's slowly healing though. Look at him, he's all scarred up. <laughs> and hanging his head. Oh, poor little owl. Okay, the bones have healed. Now, if I can get around... Yeah, I can't find these flowers we're talking about. Yeah, I failed the local quest, but... I'm still trying to get to the right, the right location, it's just not easy to get there. Well, at least I know this much. If Al gets hurt, he can recover. Sleeping giant, huh? All right, now we're making progress. Oh, now they want me to gather flowers again. Haven't seen any flowers. We 
least we're headed in the right direction. I think we may have reached. We got it. We gained. We, we did it. We came here. We saw. We drank out of the water. Now, food, that's a different story. I don't know what we're going to do about that, guys. But I guess we'll figure it out. Wait a minute. What is that over there? Let me get finished getting a drink and let me take a look. There's some birds over there. That might be carrion. Could it be carrion? Nope. They're just scallops. Wait a minute, there's a fish. There's a fish. I saw a fish. Whoa. Al can't swim. I uh, can't eat the scallop. Too bad. I was hoping that was something to eat. Well, maybe if we do these quests... Holy crack... crackies. That's a good distance. Something tells me I'm up on another daggone cliff. I am. Oh, Al, how do you get yourself into these positions? <laughs> well, guys, this has really gone into this quite a long time, honestly. But I think that was a really good first look at this. I don't know if we can save it or what we do. Let's see. We can log out. I assume we just come in and take over where we left off. So, yep, we did. And he is now a juvenile, so he is at least no longer a hatchling. And he's doing okay. Al has grown. I mean, I really messed him up pretty bad that one time. <laughs> you, you said it, Al. I know. You, you have a right to be mad at me. I'm sorry. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first look. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. It looks like this game could have some serious potential, especially if you're playing with other people. Uh, definitely, we could get kind of ugly if you're having some people you know, playing against you. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. You said it, Al. Bye-bye.